Did somebody mention art? What's up everyone, it's Bob the Drag Queen and welcome to The Pit Stop, the only official recap show for season 12 of RuPaul's Drag Race. And with me today is, ugh, Jesus, gross. It's Thorgy Thor! Yes! Bow, 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 bow. I have one thing to say. What's that? I love mustard. Yes! <laughs> so stupid. Do people still give you mustard? I have thousands of bottles of mustard. I really do love mustard, but I mean, not that much. <laughs> <laughs> you made your garment today. You know what? I made this outfit. Head to scratch. Work, you look good. Thanks. So what are you thinking of this season so far? I love it. I love that this uh, totally something representing every kind of drag. Oh, yeah. Although I always disagree with like putting a girl into a box. You're a comedy queen. You're a look queen. I'm like, let's stop doing that. Mm -hmm. They're really talented and really brilliant in all their own ways, and I can't wait to see them flourish. Groups have now collided, right? Yeah. It's the seven versus the six. Thank God. Finally. Yeah, right? The girls from episode one, they were like, did you have any drama? And the girls from group one were like, you know, we didn't. But then Jada and their group were like, we did have a little bit of drama, but their drama wasn't even as bad as the first group's drama. Oh, yeah. So, so much drama. I like drama. Also, I'm here for all of the drama, yeah. and so are you. I'm What's like, the TV what? show without drama? It's the Great British Bake Off. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Great British Bake Off. I need drama. Yes. This is American TV. I want drama. Speaking of drama, RuPaul comes in. I love this suit. She's can we get into her like head wrap moments? Love RuPaul's. Face. What I was loving in the first episode, RuPaul looked like Alexis Mateo doing Alicia Keys from Snatch Game. It was the exact same. Yeah, it was the exact same. <laughs> so RuPaul, she's like, who's the best? Who's the worst? Line them up. Would you be comfortable doing that? No, but I would do it anyway because drama is drama. And why yeah, not to participate? This. I'll participate. Also, I would have just switched it up just to be like, let me just piss off some people. <laughs> I like make other people feel good. Just to spice it up. Put the girl you think is the best at the yeah, very end. I don't see you as coming to <laughs> But really just piss her off. Yeah. But then I let the RuPaul flipped it and was like, oh, ha, ha, ha. Who you think is the worst yeah. is now a leader of a group. Yeah. It's just a perfect way to like pair, like, oh, you hate each other, now you have to work together. Exactly. And I'm like, yes! I love the drama. And love also, it. what I'm intrigued by is like, now the girls who would be chosen last are now doing the choosing. Yes. The shoe's on the other foot. I like it. Ruth knows how to switch things up. What's up with that saying, the shoe is on the other foot? Does that mean like you're taking your right shoe and put it on your left foot? Which would and create now you're discomfort. Walking funny. Oh, you and also, shoes? why is it just one shoe? We're about the same size. Oh, we are. Roughly. What size shoe are you? I'm like, saying at the same 11. time. Let's say at the same time. One, two, three, a five. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> <Up> yours. <laughs> For the main challenge this week, the girls have to like improv their way through like a reality TV competition-based show called The World's Worst. Mm. It is a full-blown improv challenge. Yeah. yeah. When all the girls have to work together, oh, yeah. it's great, especially on television. In a competition-based show, you can see people that rise to the top, people that are uncomfortable with working, people that are bad or good. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, we can see it on your faces. But, and this is improv. Scripted is one thing. Yeah. Bitch, improv, you are writing yep. at the same time that yep. you're acting. You also have to be so uh, present. There's not like, oh, I'll remember my line later. You have to like listen to everything Bob's saying so I can like, oh, add to it. Yes, yeah, yeah. and, yes, and. I thought you were really good at improv on the Snatch Game on our season. Oh, thank you. I mean, there's some really hilarious moments as Michael Sh Yeah, well yes, also, I you know, I can I can talk for like 45 minutes. What? But I chose, but I chose Michael no. Jackson, and Michael Jackson d is not really a really talkative person. Yeah. So I found myself being like, I can't say much, but choose when to be like, <laughs> <laughs> can you do the la the <laughs> <laughs> So now the groups break up and start working on the little individual things, right? Yeah. And then immediately there's some tension. Like Aiden and Britt are like butting heads, and Brit is essentially like, bitch, I don't want to be in your group. Yeah, because I think you're bad. I don't want to be in your group. Why did you choose me? Yeah. I'm like, oh my God. But Brett, also, down. if you saw someone that you don't want to be in a group with, Ugh. I don't know that I would tell them. It doesn't matter if you're the team leader. Our team has to win. So you wake up and you like change it. I know yeah. you'd be the same way. Like, oh, yeah, Aiden chose me, maybe not a strong improver. I'm going to go in there and be the best improver and I'm going to bring her up rather yeah. than her dragging me down. If you use the rules of improv, you can lift people up. As long as everyone's yeah. abiding by the rules, yeah. then you can have a, a truly successful scene. Okay, so now we get to the part where the, where the, the, the fruity patooties. This is a really <laughs> great one where Rock is like, you know, I want to be the apple, but you know, it's up to you. And Jay's like, work, I'm the apple. All right, moving Boom. on. 
I'm also like, don't offer it to me if you want me to have it. Yeah. Like, if you want me to have it, bitch, don't say it, because I, I will take it. She expected her to be like, oh, no, 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 why don't you take the better part? She was like, moving on, thank you for the best role, thank you, bye. When, when I'm out to dinner and someone and, and I offer to pay and someone goes, no, 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 let me, I go, all right, thanks, thank I gotta you. go, call my car already. <laughs> Gotta go. I'm not gonna argue. I'm not arguing with you. Don't offer. I tried to be it. nice, and then you offered it, and it's done deal. Let's talk about the world's worst. Let's jump in, okay? Yeah. So we're starting off with the Del Rio Trio, yeah. which is a group of old ladies who have been like they're like the Andrews sisters or uh, White Destiny Child. <laughs> well, right away they're all shaking, like they're constantly stroking out, yeah. constantly. And I'm like, okay, I'm here for it. I get exactly what the group is. Mm -hmm. They're funny and they're committed because they're all just shaking like they're old. And they did the weekend at Bernie's bit. Oh my God, when she died. Which to be fair, I think she died a little too early. I mean, she died in the opening credits. That I was mean, like, dead. No offense yeah. to anyone who's dead watching this. We don't, no offense to the you dead. You don't want to insult to the, the corpses. To the, the dead watching. community. Yeah, yeah. But overall, it was a good job. Yeah. So let's talk about the Squirrel Scouts. Mm -hmm. They're this group of like, Girl Scouts who own a squirrel? I think Widow has some great lines. Like, what's, yeah. the, what's the colors of that lipstick? And she goes, oh, yeah. this is barbecue sauce. That was great. I wish Nikki would have just done only French speaking. Or at least some. And the, some, and just like went out of it, and they were like, we don't know what she says, but she's beautiful, or something. You gotta play to your strengths. Exactly. So now it's time to talk about three girls, one brain. Watching it was a little labored for me. I was like, and, and they're, they're saying, saying these, these lines, at and the there is a group, group that, that is got struck, and I'm like, yeah. Ah! That's like, it's hard to do that. It was one of those like, this is funny in this moment. Yes. But for a while I was like, I, this is now labor. Yeah. But it did come full circle at the end when they like, actually we found out that they were lying. Yeah. I was like, this is actually really funny to me. And I think the best line was when on the way out the door, Britta goes, let's just yeah. go. She goes, two girls struck by light. I'm like, okay, yeah. this is funny. Fuck girl, fuck yeah. let's go. Yeah, that was, that was really good. Now there are the fruity patooties. This group was... <laughs> this is my favorite. Okay. First of all, can I just say that I would wear any one of these costumes to any gig or red carpet anytime? There were some insanely funny moments. And there were some moments that were funny, but not for the right reasons. Rock was... This orange character was so good. The puns. Are, are you thirsty? Would you like some fruit punch? And then I also love the line, how many... Doctors do, do I have, I have to, eat to eat a day to keep, keep you, you away. away. Aren't you glad that? <laughs> <laughs> that's just, I literally agree. Aren't, Aren't you glad that we live in we a live world in a that's community so where everyone's accepted? And we're like, <laughs> that, I could, before the joke came out, I was like, You're this is on great. Look. I'm on I'm this like, train. Wait, I wanted to go local. <laughs> do not go express. Don't skip any stops. I want every bit of rewind. Food. I want all. Let's watch that it again. Any. Now, Dahlia is obsessed with being sexy broccoli. And then decides to like make it physical. <laughs> That's when the whole physical fight, brawl, of fruits and one vegetable. Because with the, with the, with the sprout. And this is improv too. She chose to do that. <laughs> I would have spent time thinking of like sexy puns oh, about sexy broccoli. broccoli like, puns. Yeah, yeah. She's like my green puff. Like it's not easy being green, but this green is easy. See, that, I mean, was better, that was better, that was better, that That is the idea. <laughs> so the idea of being like this like Blanche Devereaux broccoli yeah. is insane. But she hilarious. never brought it there and then she attacked another girl with her. <laughs> <laughs> I also kind of wish they had done this thing where they did a, a plot twist where you find out that the bad apple is a bad apple because the whole time she was actually a really good tomato and you <gasps> just had to be yourself. Just you can fit, you're you can, a tomato. You can fit in with us. It's okay. <laughs> and then they all like like uh, attacked her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I beat her up. And they juice her. And it was a free for all. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So finally, we're getting to the runway. Right. Category is buttons and bows. Cool. Interesting category. They kept going on and on about how much they liked Dahlia's look. I didn't like this look. Okay. What is on her head? She's a bunny. Yeah, no. So Rock is like wearing, I don't like the silhouette. It's like this puffy shoulder, Alice in Wonderland. I just don't like it. I kept waiting for it to be a tear away. I didn't like it on Alice. I don't like it on you. And also what I don't like about this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it on Alice. I don't like it on you. I did like the hair because it gave some amount of like, and now everyone's gonna trip over my, I know you hate the hair. It's I kind of like it. from me. You hate it. Okay, Jan is it for me. Jan is like the winner of the, all of this for me. This, the whole look. She looks amazing. She looks good. This is really, really good. Yeah, Jan's top for me. Gigi good. Yes, I went through a journey. I hated it, I was okay with it, and then I ended up loving it. What did you not like right it away? It is a really simple silhouette covered yes. in buttons. So yes. I would have been more interested in a really interesting silhouette like a covered concept. in buttons. But then I kept looking, I was like, you know what? 
This is great. Yeah. You know, she looks great. She's a walking Barbie doll, and I heard her mom makes all of her costumes. At gunpoint. At gunpoint. Yeah. yeah. Her mother is chained to a <laughs> sewing machine at home. Mother, I need buttons. <laughs> no. Okay, let's talk about oh, Jackie Cox. No. It, it, no. <laughs> No. Oh, no. No. What do you think about this color combination? Ugly. It was, yeah, okay. So, the, the about, color how about, combination. But how about the silhouette? It's ugly. Oh, I was like, how about oh. The, but what about the hat? Uh, like. <laughs> Remember when Trixie did the ugliest dress? This Wasn't is it that dress? <laughs> So, Nikki uh, Doll, yeah. the idea is she is a Cinderella and the outfit's being made on her body. Yeah. There's a mouse, the mouse is sewing it. This is a good idea. Yes. I like this idea. It's not my favorite look ever, but it's a no. good idea. Well, the first thing I thought was like, oh, it's cut at the knee and it's not finished, it's not long enough. The mice are gonna do that. All right, so I'm like, oh, okay, I got it, it's unfinished. That's a great little thing, like, oh, the mouse is gonna finish. Yeah, that. as an excuse for anything. Oh, yeah, like, the, the yeah, mouse. Yeah, but the was, color is wrong. Oh, the, the mouse is gonna mouse die. Gonna <laughs> What sweatshirt Wait. would you wear on the runway? <laughs> like, what color sweatshirt okay. with one button would you wear on Aiden the runway? Aiden Zane, is, this is, so far, the ugliest outfit of the season. By season 12, it's like you have to bring your best all the time. She wore a sweatshirt with a couple of buttons. Yeah, it's, this is, and also, that that wig. Stop wearing that wig, <sighs> Thorgy. I know. If they're gonna call out Crystal for wearing similar makeup, <sighs> they have to call out Aiden for literally wearing yeah, the exact same wig. Yes, but I will say this about Aiden. I like her, I think she's smart, and I kind of like her like weird, like French, like big face it's with her cute. big cheeks. I'm like, there's something, I like I like her. Agreed. I don't like this sweatshirt. This outfit is hideous. I don't like this sweatshirt. And I think the thing that upset me, no, it's just, I, I don't like it, I can't. Which look was your favorite? Jan. Jan. I loved Jan's look. It was just my favorite. I liked the way she moved your body. Mm -hmm. I, it was sold. I'm gonna say mine, because of the emotional journey, Gigi Good. I ended up <laughs> loving it. I, ended I up love that like, you chose Gigi Good. I ended up hating it. I'm like, like, it's really brilliant it's and it's beautiful. great. Let's yeah. say our least favorite at the same time. One, two, three. Aiden. Aiden. Yeah, it, it's just, <laughs> it was horrible. So we, we're back to the normal format. Someone, Someone's gonna win and someone's gonna go home, which I'm like, thank I'm yeah. sick of this, like no one goes home. Yeah. So we find out that the winner this week is Sherry Pie. So the bottom two are Dahlia Sin and Nikki Doll. Yes. And they have to lip sync to Problems by Ariana Grande and Iggy Azalea. All right, okay. first of all, the song should have been Buttons. So it was it was fine. Yeah. Um, actually, no, it wasn't fine. This was not great. <laughs> the whole lip sync. The, it was, it was, you know what, it, it was literally fine. Yeah, it was okay. Okay, so the lip sync's over, Nikki Doll has won, and Dahlia Sin has entered a legendary yet uh, mournful sorority. The first one to go. First girl going home. <sighs> Do you agree with this decision? Yes. yes. Her lip sync was worse. Yes, yeah. go home. And then, in our classic form on RuPaul's Drag Race, we always give some like exit line that's like lovely. That girl walked right past. I loved it. At least she went out and people will remember. I want the temper tantrum to continue in the workroom. Throw a chair, yeah. break the mirror. All of a sudden, interview, she breaks the mirror and you go down as the girl who broke, broke the, the mirror. Broke the mirror, snapped the RuPaul Twitter hand trophy in half. Yeah. Yeah, go go ham. Yeah. I want to thank the hilarious Thorgy Thor for joining us here today on The Pit Stop. Oh, I love you, girl, I you're amazing. I love you. You're, you're fierce. Yes! Thank you for watching The Pit Stop and be sure to tune in next week for episode four of RuPaul's Drag Race season 12. Bye, y'all. Can't get enough of RuPaul's Drag Race? Make sure you subscribe to VH1's YouTube channel for all the hot, sickening tea so you don't miss a thing.